Sojourn is a uh, leading uh, travel data marketing company where we combine uh, real intent data with booking confirmation data in real time uh, to run very targeted marketing campaigns for other companies that we work with across the travel uh, and leisure industries. Um, so that could be suppliers, that could be airlines, hotel groups, etc. Um, or it could be leisure companies that are interested in promoting their products or their services to uh, a travel and leisure audience. I think uh, data is changing the uh, travel industry in a sense is giving greater insight around what consumers want, um, looking at the demands that um, consumers are placing on suppliers uh, and then allowing us to react to that demand to shape the messaging, the products that are delivered to uh, consumers at the right time with the right message to influence that purchasing decision. Um, and data really allows us the insight to be able to make those informed decisions rather than simply making assumptions as to you know, who your target audience is and what they may or may not like. We're looking at intent to make a certain purchase or intent to go to a specific destination or a confirmed booking confirmation that may subsequently lead to uh, an additional purchasing decision. Um, all of that is, is based around having the insight that, uh, that, that data provides. So we never share or, or sell any of our data. Um, our data is used to power uh, campaigns, uh, advertising campaigns for our, our clients. Um, the ways in which they use it really is to drive performance, um, ultimately is to, to, to you know, drive bookings and sales. Um, but also beyond sort of achieving top line KPIs, we put a great deal of emphasis on providing greater insight to those clients so they get an understanding around trends that have emerged, um, consumer behavioural patterns that they can use, could apply to other marketing channels where they have less sophisticated information, um, and really to uh, allow decisions to be made based on what the data is telling them rather than you know, assumptive um, forms of, uh, of marketing that perhaps they've been used to previously. I think the, uh, the main trends that we've seen emerge over the last couple of years, I think there's been a, a lot of disruption in the, the marketplace, there's new market entrants. Uh, I think the crossover between technology um, and existing forms of, uh, of travel products are becoming ever closer. Um, and I, I see that trend continuing. Um, I would imagine that there will be other new market entrants. Uh, and I think also, like as, as I was saying before, increasingly decisions will be made based on what the, the data is telling us, what the, the factual evidence is taking us, and making informed decisions as to what consumers want, uh, rather than assuming that we know based on focus groups or research surveys or perhaps more traditional methods that we were using in the past. It's a really exciting time to be in, in digital travel. Yeah, I've been in the industry for, for over 15 years and I think it's never failed to evolve. It continually evolves um, across the industry. There are always new developments, new enhancements. Uh, I think there's more power and decision-making capability in the hands of the consumers than perhaps there's ever been at any, any other time. And so it's important, I think, that the providers of products, the pro providers of, of services or the providers of, of marketing channels are adhering to what the demands and needs are of those consumers uh, in an ever you know, competitive marketplace.